Not till the final day of the 54 season was the Big Ten title decided, and Ohio State's Buckeyes emerged the champion with a second half 21 7 victory over Michigan. The once beaten Wolverines dominated the early play. Danny Klein started from his 33, slipped away from three tacklers, and sprints for 27 yards. Buckeye territory, Lou Baldacci takes to the air. His pass to Terry Barr is complete. Barr fumbles out of bounds, and it's first down, Michigan. Inside the Ohio State 10, Michigan tries a 54 variation of the old buck lateral. Barr to Baldacci to Klein, and Danny Klein puts the Wolverines out in front. Holding a 7-0 lead, the Wolverines drive for more points. But Jim Maddox's pass is intercepted by Jack Gibbs, and Gibbs is all the way to the Michigan 10 before Maddox hauling him down. And the Buckeyes are threatening. Moments later, Davy Leggett fades to pass. Fred Chris is alone in the end zone, and Chris makes a spectacular falling catch to tie it up. Tad Weed's conversion makes it a 7-7 ball game. Not till the third quarter did the turning point of the game take place. Michigan had a first and goal to go on the Ohio State forward. Danny Klein takes a crack at the line, but gained only a yard. And third down, fullback Freddie Bayer powers toward the end zone. It was stopped on the one-half-yard line. And again, it's Bayer, and he's halted just short of the end zone. And Ohio State takes over. Hopalong Cassidy made a number of valuable runs for the Buckeyes during the season, but none more timely than this 52-yard sprint, which set up the winning touchdown against Michigan. Ohio State is on the move, and it's Bobo pounding up the middle for another sizable game. This is it, the rollout pass from Dave Leggett to Dick Brubaker, which enabled the Buckeyes to finish their season unbeaten and untied. Ohio State beats Michigan 21-7 and heads for Pasadena. Pasadena.